Shouldn't ask me anything. Okay. And action. Hi, my name is Dr. Mayor Olja. I'm a fertility specialist here at New Hope Fertility. Hi, I'm Dr. Kot Makarov, a fertility doctor here at New Hope Fertility. Hello, this is Dr. Z. Chao Liu from New Hope Fertility Center. I'm a specialist in reproductive medicine. That's totally a myth. When women are on birth control, it's true. It stops them from ovulating every month. It definitely stops them from getting pregnant. They do still have that period every month, but it doesn't decrease your fertility. And in fact, we know that many women who stop their birth control the very next month, they're ovulating, they're getting pregnant, and they're back to their baseline fertility. Totally a myth. No. Now, you don't want to drink excessive amounts, more than three cups a day, uh, when you're trying to get pregnant or when you're pregnant. But I tell my patients I can have one cup a day of caffeine. That can be coffee, tea, soda, one cup a day is fine and will not decrease your fertility. They still have pretty good chance to achieve the pregnancy. And the chance for them to achieve the pregnancy is determined by their age and their general health, more specifically, and determined by your, the quality of the egg and the quantity of the egg. For example, for a lady at 14 year old at a New Hope, they have almost 35% chance to achieve, achieve the pregnancy. For a lady at 42 year old, they have 25% chance to be pregnant. And for a lady at 44 year old, they have about a 10% chance to achieve the pregnancy. Definitely a myth, 100% false. There's never been any data to show that one position or another improves your chance of having a boy or a girl. There are some techniques out there called sperm sorting, which have some limited data where they can actually spin the sperm or select male versus female sperm. That's definitely something that we do at New Hope and um, that's something that we can talk to you about in the future. But in terms of sexual positions, total myth. You know, it's a couple's issue, really. So there's male and female components to fertility. And a lot of times I find it's a combination of both. So um, there may be um, a hormone imbalance on the women's side. And maybe um, when I do a semen analysis for um, her partner, I may find there's low sperm movement or low motility or abnormally shaped sperm, um, which will decrease fertility. So often I find most commonly it's a combination of the two and definitely not only a female issue. No, a lot of people thought that when we do egg retrieval, we just get the patient the future eggs to save them. And for a lady, even without any uh, treatment, without any medication, each cycle they have about 1,000 follicles to make up in each month, or every most specifically every 10 to 15 days. So now you see in egg retrieval cycle, we just we recycle the follicles. We are not based reserve of the future cycle, the future follicles. That's actually not a myth. Age definitely does affect fertility. We have a lot of data to support that. There's a lot of pregnancy data and CDC data that actually shows as women get older, not only is the quality of eggs different and actually poor, but also the number of eggs um, decreases with age. And we specifically see that cut off somewhere around that 38 to 39 age range where the drop becomes more steep. So does age affect fertility? Definitely not a myth, it is true. Actually, yes, because infertility um, it can be caused by hormone imbalance and a sign of hormone imbalance is irregular cycle. So I actually do find that a common sign of infertility. So if you have irregular cycles, come see a fertility doctor and let's figure it out.